Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, I made this little guy um, and gave it away as one of the files on my group page. And I made this all using the shapes in our shape library. And I had asked you guys if you wanted me to show you how and a bunch of you said yes. So let's get to it. You can really make anything out of the shapes in our shape library. All right, so here's the two bars in the split. I'll just bring that one down here. And put that one about there. So let me find this one. This to be a smidge bigger. And to center these with each other, you, you highlight both of them and then click that button. Alright, so let's group them, or union them. Okay, so now let's get the ears. And let's duplicate. Let's pull this one over here and out of the way. Let's turn this one. Let's make it a little bit fatter. Okay. That looks good. And the same with this. Let's make it a little bit fatter. Oops. And use those lines. See those blue lines that pop up? That tells you where the middles and where it is that they're they're equal. Okay. That looks about even. So let's highlight all that and union that as well. And sometimes it takes forever. Okay, so let's bring in this part of the ear right here. And you're going to be like, well, it's not pointed. Well, that's because we're going to need to do some node editing. You're going to want to get it as close to where you want it as possible. Yeah, looks, that looks about right. Come on. Okay, so now let's take it to 100. Move this out of the way a little bit. Come up here and hit this. This is the shape tool. This will allow you to do some node editing. Let's grab a hold here and pull. Kind of keep it rounded though. You don't you don't want points. Bunny ears aren't necessarily pointed. So just keep a nice rounded shape. We'll click off of it. Make sure it's all nice and rounded. Sometimes it doesn't want to move. Give it what you want it to look like. Uh, 
Okay, so that's looking pretty decent, I think. Bring them back in just a smidge. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now to do the pink insets of the ears. Just make it longer and a little bit thinner. Longer, a little bit wider. And put it where you want it. Okay, I'm going to duplicate that one. So it fits like that. Okay. So I'm going to highlight both of them, and we're going to come over here and change the color to pink. Okay, but I would need to have this cut off because the ears flopped over. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this one, and we're going to, oops, let me return that. I forgot I have to fatten it up a little bit first. And we're going to try to get it to mimic that flopped over part of the ear. So let me see if I have it big enough yet. Nope. Does that look about right? Nope. I still need to come down a little bit more. That looks good. But now, what I have to do is I have to bring both of them over here. I come up to path, exclude. Oh, that's not what I want. Nope. I was just going to say that's not the one I want. I want path. I want back minus front for this one. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to set it in there just like that. And now that looks like the ear is coming over the top of it. Okay? All right, so now let's group all of these so far so we can move that up and we can move this one up and make it as long as that one. Okay, so now we're ready for the eyes and let's do this one. We're going to change it and make it black. Okay. And we're going to set it down here. We're going to slightly move it over. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. We like big black eyes. Come up here to Object Duplicate. We're going to go right to the side there. But we're going to increase the space. To about there. Okay. And now we're going to add its little highlight. Going to decrease the size here on the side. Put it about right there. Come up here, Object, Duplicate. And again, increase the spacing till you get it just about right. Click OK. I'm going to come in here and tweak that just a smidge. And if you can't get it right by doing this, grab your arrows right here to help you. Okay, so that looks about right. Now let's go grab the nose, which is this little guy right here. And I use this. Okay, 
And I'm going to also decrease the size when I'm over there that way, but I want to stretch it out a little bit. Let's get it down here and see what we've got. Okay, that looks okay so far. Let's change the color. Okay, let's see how we look. That looks good. And now... Okay, we want these lines. And you don't have to put these in. You can have them drawn in or whatever. Oops, there we went. I don't like necessarily working with these because they are such a pain in the hind end. Because <clears throat> as you see, you try to go to move them and they just want to either twist or see, they don't want to stretch out. But feel free to just draw them in. Okay, so let's see here. We want to make six of them. So you go about putting them in wherever you think they need to be. But this is all options that I've used from the uh, shapes library. Please, this one, let's say we'll put it right up here. And you turn it, lift it up. Just make sure it's touching down there. Touching there. So that's how you do it. And then the uh, script that I used when I made mine was, I think it's Adelia or something like that. Yep, right here. And that's the font that I use. So that's how easy it is to go about making things out of the shapes in your library in Shortcuts A Lot 4. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can find me over at Shortcuts or, oh, yo, yo, at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.